Hey everybody, I'm Jamie Proviance, and today I'm going to show you the way to check doneness on your New York strip steak. Why? Well, because on any given night in America, there are thousands, probably millions of men looking at their steaks thinking, is it done yet? Should I take it off? I don't know. What do you think? Well, four ways. First, a couple of professional ways. A lot of chefs, while the steak is actually still on the grill, will just feel the firmness of the steak either on the side with a pair of tongs or with a finger on the top. And that's because the steak gets firmer as it cooks. It starts out very soft and, and mushy, and as juices are pushed out of the steak, it gets a little bit firmer. I'll give you a technique that involves the palm of your hand for judging rare, medium rare, whatever you happen to like. If you hold your hand out in sort of a limp way like this and press the base of your thumb, this is what a steak feels like when it's absolutely raw. Okay? If you cook it to a rare doneness, it feels like this with your first finger and thumb together, a little bit firmer. A medium rare doneness feels like this when you've got your middle finger and thumb together. So you're comparing this to say this, this to say this. Of course, you could keep going up to medium well or, or, or well done. Not too many people like their steaks well done, but this would be, for instance, how you would like to have a, a chicken breast feel. But that's a whole other story. We're talking about steak today. So those are two techniques. Now, um, a third technique is to use a thermometer, although I have to tell you I'm not a huge fan of this, but if you use it in connection with the others, sometimes it can be helpful. The reason I'm not a fan of it is because thermometers rarely get to the exact center of the steak, which is what you want to measure. They tend to measure a little bit high or a little low. But at any rate, you can put it in. And if you're looking for um, a, a medium rare doneness, I usually pull it off at about 125, 130 degrees. Okay. Now, the fourth way, um, which is probably the easiest way of all, is what I call the slit and peak. And what you want to do now is just turn the steak over. The side facing the plate is going to be facing up. This is the side you don't really care about, in other words. And you just cut a little slit into the bottom, and you open it up, and you take a look at the color of the meat. And if it's too red and too juicy, well, then it goes back onto the grill. Um, if it's perfectly rosy red, however you like it, then you know, you're good to go. If it's gray, well, then you think, well, better luck next time I've overcooked it. At any rate, once you've got the steak just where you want it, it's very important to let it just sit for about three, maybe five minutes. That's because a lot of the juice of the steak has been pushed to the center by the heat of the grill. And if you were to cut into it right now, those juices would tend to spill out over the cutting board. But if you let the steak sit for a few minutes at room temperature or a nice summer afternoon temperature, then the, the juices tend to just redistribute throughout the steak. And when you cut into it, they stay inside. So let's wait a few minutes. I'll cut into the steak and see how it looks. After a few minutes of resting, this is what I've got. Nice, juicy, tender New York strip steak. So you've got four basic ideas. All basically working around the idea that a piece of meat gets firmer as it cooks. You can squeeze it on the outside, you can touch it, you can use a thermometer, you can nick it on the bottom and take a peek. But one more tip for you. Once you've determined what a perfect steak feels like, remember that. Remember this feeling because once you know this, you never have to use the other three techniques at all. This is the ultimate test. And then there's no more confusion, no more need to look over that grill and wonder, huh, should we take it off? Now you can have your perfect doneness every time.